But I'm Heaven Flowers. What's up? This is Lex. And this is Vic. And you're watching Lex, Lex and Vic, Vic your rap, rap zone. zone. Hey man, it's like man, you already know what the fuck going on. It's your boy Deontay Hitchcock. We out here with hip hop lovers. You already know the best motherfucking vlog. That's right. That's right. Yeah. Thank you. What up, hip hop lovers? This is Vicky Flows. Black Spine and Tenet is here. Your mom already knows. Enjoy this hip hop podcast. Subscribe to our flow. Today you're witnessing the greatest. Lex and Vicky rap zone. Lex and Vicky. Lex and Vicky. What? Of the Zoinkies, J.I.D. When was the track released? J.D. Jid. I don't even know, but we just wanted to make a review on this one. And. We got a chance to listen to the whole performance live, not that much time ago. We have a whole lot of merch that we just keep here and we wanted to show off a little bit. You know what I'm saying? Hey, yeah. Dollar and the Dream. Yep. And, and I got the shoe signed. <laughs> we're packed. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> so we're gonna watch okay. the track. And the video called of oh, the yes. Zoinkies. And I've seen it and Vicky didn't watch it and no. didn't hear the song. I mean she heard the song at the concert but yeah. didn't like get into it. So I just know that uh, in the video Ansel Aragord plays yeah. uh, the the part of the video and he is the actor of uh, one of my favorite movies, Fault of Fault in Our Stars. Yeah. Yeah, and he also played in the diversion two parts, which I love it too. So uh, I'm really excited to see what kind of role is he gonna play in this video. Mm -hmm. That's pretty interesting, mm -hmm. and I'm actually curious how did J J A D get him to play in the video? Yes, I mean he's a really popular actor. Okay, so that's pretty interesting. Let's watch it. Find out. Okay, this is a really short song. Let's talk about it a little bit because okay. there's been a lot already. So mm -hmm. basically, this song is about addiction and JID's struggle, and not only his struggle, but just overall. Drug addict. Yeah, like his story of what he does and how he deals with all this. And I think at some point. Uh, he was almost kicked out out of Dreamville because he didn't finish the DiCaprio 2 album okay. because of drug abuse. I didn't mm. know it. I just like looked it up recently and that's crazy. Wow. So he definitely understands what he's talking about because he has, he still ha has his own experience with it. So yeah, yeah. Well, well, I hear that you need to get off the dope of this, of that and of the Zoinkies. Um, Zoinki, uh, it's like here it, it means like drugs, of the drugs. But actually Zonki, Zoinkis doesn't have like a whole lot of meaning. Yeah? Okay. Yeah. Oh, it's just Zonki like, means. it's just like this short word that you can use in, it can mean a juice, it could mean an ass, it could mean anything. Mm -hmm. So here it means of the Zoinkis, of the drugs, of mm -hmm. the weed, of the cocaine, whatever. 
but um, yeah, you can use it anytime. Okay, and I also remember seeing uh, Crystal's uh, post on Instagram about Crystal's. Yeah, Crystal's my bad about this song that about his struggle becoming a successful producer and stuff and mm -hmm. like keep doing your things and he was inspired by Rick Ross uh, mm -hmm. track Three Kings I guess because mm -hmm. the sample from the movie was used there and he used it here yeah so yeah I, I read the movie is uh, somewhere in the 70s Dreamville. Did you see it? What? Dreamville. There was yeah? a little box right here. Oh, okay. <laughs> Jed. Yeah. Well, uh, there's like so many things I didn't like see when I was tiny, this video. tiny details. Yeah. I didn't see that too. <laughs> yeah. uh, and he mentioned uh, Reagan, Ronald Reagan. This yeah. is one of the presidents President. of America mm -hmm. who started the war with drugs. Mm -hmm. But. He's saying he called that he's him racist, racist as fuck, yeah. And there is Dreamville too. This is crazy. They have peanut butter bars. No, I <laughs> think they just, you know, they just uh, made it for yeah, their anyway. video. Yeah, and he also mentioned that a lot of people die and it's not enough. I think it's something related to Mac Miller, might be as well, and everybody else. I didn't know that Mac Miller actually produced a lot of stuff. For J.A.D. Yeah, and he I did. heard that. That's and J.A.D. I think he had some vocals on self-care. Did you know that? Mm -mm. That's another crazy fact that I just found out. Because during the concert in San Antonio, J.A.D. had like the full speech about Mac Miller, how he went to L.A., how he first stopped to get some weed and then go to uh, to the studio. Remember? Yeah, I remember that story. That was like really. I sad. have it recorded. We can insert some part of it. Yeah, okay. You put in salt? For cat? It's like some futuristic type of shit. Yeah, no, I feel like he's under drugs. You know? Oh. You know, like he's affected and he's like doing all these visuals. Yeah. Like it's happening, but it's not really happening because he's tripping. Now I get it. I feel like that, that's, what, that's what I think okay. when I see it first. Random shot, it was taken from that movie. Okay. Just a bunch of females. females. Dancing. Yeah. Did he try to overdose his own cat? Like, I don't know, he was just putting salt in some shit. But if, in if his a cat throat. will drink milk with salt, I think nothing good will happen to him. Maybe know. that's the message that even fucking cat doesn't want to kill himself why people do drugs and <laughs> kill themselves with all this shit I, know. I don't know let us know what do you think guys i mean i'm sure you know better than us <laughs> or not i like this track so much Me both too. for for the beat for the melody for the bars but what is the most important is for honesty from jd that he's not like making it look bad when mm -hmm. you're when you're an addict he says i'm a fucking addict i understand addiction so i'm sympathetic yeah and i feel like it kind of uh j cole with his kod influenced Friends. him yeah. um on this one 
well, it was it came out earlier, so it was definitely some influence mm -hmm. for sure. And it's so much more to think about in this track. Like when you just look at the visuals and then you read the lyrics, you I'm telling you, I, I've heard this song a lot and I still find something in it. That's what I like a lot about it. Mm -hmm. That's what I like about hip hop. You always find something new and a meaningful song. Thanks for watching it, guys. <laughs> like, comment, and share with the JDJ Jet fan, with Dreamville fan. And please, please let us know what you think about it. And yeah, thanks subscribe. for watching. Subscribe and like Sanviki Rev Zone. Peace.